Probably the highlight or the standout moment definitely would be the presidential election last year and getting to cover all of that and meet people all across America, the voters of America, and they're the people that are described in my book um, as to what they saw in Donald Trump, someone who wasn't a traditional politician, and what motivated them to vote for him. Where did you get the time? You mustn't sleep. And uh, that's partly true. So I basically, I, I don't know how I managed to write 75,000 words in just over two months, but I did. <laughs> um, three weekends, late nights, um, sacrificing all social elements to just sit in and write. And I really enjoyed the writing process. My first book, I'd never attempted anything like this before, and I just felt that it felt, it was an exhilarating process, really just sitting down I mean, I talk for a living, but I think it would leave me speechless to actually win a Book of the Year award. I'm nominated in the non-fiction category and, you know, I was that little girl who grew up eating books for breakfast, lunch and dinner, plaguing her mother to bring her to the library, keep getting more and more books. So to have a book with my name on it is amazing, but to win a book award would just be absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs>